Good morning, everyone. Come on in. Let me make sure we are situated here. Yay! I think we got it. Okay. All right. Good morning, everyone. Come on in. We're going to give just a second for everyone to come in before we get started. So first, let me just thank our replay viewers. Thank you for coming in and checking us out. And don't forget, if you would like to be a part of our live interaction and perhaps you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to come on over to Buffy's Toolbox Group if you are a fellow jeweler with Premier Designs and you can be added to that group where you can be a part of this live interaction. This is going to bug me. I scraped my lip right there with my nail and it is like all red and irritated now so sorry <laughs> it's driving me nuts hopefully it'll go down by the end of the video um, thank you Shannon I did have a great weekend I listen we kind of had um, somewhat of a lazy weekend if you will I enjoyed some time of just like getting to like chill out with my husband and just kind of hang out with him. We actually, at one point, um, we even just came back to our room and, and watched TV, just he and I, it was awesome. So I, um, I really enjoyed that because he's getting ready to, um, go on a men's golf outing and I'm going to miss him terribly. Um, and as I'm speaking about him, look who pops in. So my honey must be on his break. Hi, baby. <laughs> All right. So good morning to everyone. So I do want to talk to you a little bit today about planning. Okay. So first I want you to think about for a moment, how many of you take time to plan for a vacation. So I'm talking like itineraries are being made, reservations are being made. Um, hey baby, um, you are taking a look at like what there is to do, who you can go visit, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like you are like spending like weeks researching to go away, maybe just for a weekend or even for a whole week. Okay. And you're doing this like constant planning and looking and researching and kind of figuring out all the details. Okay. Anybody ever do that? Put them in the box if you've ever done that. Um, another thing is maybe you've even done that just for a special event. Maybe you've done that for one evening or one day of, you know, having something special going on and you took weeks maybe months, maybe even years to prep for this, okay? And you spend that time of, again, kind of going through all the little details, going through everything of like what needs to be done and probably even creating yourself a checklist of, okay, we need to make sure we do this and we need to make sure we do this and we need to make sure that this is covered and we need to make sure that is covered. Anyone who has ever planned a wedding you know what I'm talking about, okay? Where there are so many details that go into, and all this planning that goes into one evening or one day, and before you know it, it's here and gone, okay? Good morning, everyone. So even think about, I mean, I mean, seriously, this comes down to even planning holidays. Like we do all this planning, we do all this stuff to get ready, and then the day comes and it's gone, okay? So explain to me, maybe somebody has an explanation. Explain to me why we find it so difficult to take one evening to plan for our business. Whether it be to plan just for the next week, maybe it's to plan for the next month, maybe it's to plan for the next several years. But why do we resist? taking the time to plan for our business when our business has the potential to change what our life looks like, okay? That has the potential to change what we get a chance to do in our life. Yet, we don't take time to plan for that. It's kind of, well, if it happens, it happens. Like if somebody calls me, okay, great. If someone schedules a show, great. Okay, so 
Or maybe you're thinking, look, when I have a home show scheduled, I do all sorts of planning. I'm all over it, okay? I do all sorts of planning. Thank you and good morning to you, okay? So we want to take a look at that and go, why are we not taking the time to plan? Why? Because here's the thing. If you do not already have shows on your calendar, don't wait for a show to start planning, okay? You need to start planning now what you can do to perhaps get some shows on your calendar, okay? I want you to also look at it from this standpoint. How many of you as children, because I know we have mainly women in here, so how many of you as children, as little girls, did you dream about what your wedding might look like? And you might have even had your colors picked out. You imagined what your dress would look like. You imagined what kind of flowers you would have there. You imagined all these different things. And in fact, you probably even imagined a groom there, okay? You, you got down to like the nitty gritty of the details, even if it was just all in your mind, all right? But you had this all thought out because you dreamed about it. Now, my question is, for those of you who have a why, for those of you who have a dream in your business, have you actually allowed yourself the opportunity to get that vivid of a picture of what that dream would look like if you were able to accomplish it? Have you allowed yourself to dream in color, so to speak? Okay. Have you allowed yourself the opportunity to really have that image in your mind so that you can begin to plan for what you want to do? Have you done that? Okay. So that's something that I want us to be looking at is I want us to be looking at not just what we have to do in our business, but perhaps what we get to do in our business, what we have the opportunity to do in our business and with our business, okay? Maybe you even thought about as a, you know, soon-to-be mother or as a soon-to-be father, maybe you thought about what your kids were going to look like, what your kids were going to do, what you were going to get to do with your kids, what you were going to, and again, you had that vivid image in your mind that could kind of play like a movie. Do you have the ability to do that with your why for your business? Are you able to see it so clearly that there is no mistake in what you want out of this business? Have you done that? And so far, I'm not getting any yeses in the comment stream, but I'm also not getting any noes. So I don't know if y'all are sleeping on me this morning or if you are just not wanting to admit <laughs> to what you have or haven't done, okay? But I really want you to think about that. We take so much time to plan things that are only going to last us a short time instead of taking a short time to plan things that have the ability to change the entire course of our life. So I really want you to think about that. I want you to not just say, okay, so Allison, all right, so that I guess that's why people aren't, why we're not saying anything this morning. Okay, but listen, but that helps. That helps me to know that that it, it does, um, need to be shared, okay? And that it needs to be thought about because we can spend all this time planning on these very small events and spend no time planning the things that, like I said, could change the whole course of our life. So maybe you need to be looking at the fact that if you don't already have shows on your calendar, one of the very first things that you're gonna need to do <clears throat> after you have given yourself the ability to truly get that vision in your mind. Like take time to dream about what you can do with this business. Take time to dream about what this business could bring you into, what this business could do for you in the long run. Because if all you are thinking about is whether or not you have a show on your calendar, that is not gonna do the trick, 
okay? That is not going to keep you moving. That is not going to keep you pushing through when things get hard because instead it'll be things are hard and I don't have anything on my calendar. Now's a good time to walk away. And let me tell you something. It is never a good time to walk away from Premiere, in my opinion, okay? Especially not because you simply got discouraged, all right? Because here's the thing. That is business. That is life. That is just things that will happen, okay? And you just have to be prepared for those things. But you also have to take the time to plan. Not only planning, believe it or not, for those potential disappointments, but planning for other things that you can do in the meantime as you are um, attempting to get more shows on your calendar. So maybe let's think about just in the mindset of... Um, planning for a vacation. Okay. Again, you tend to make reservations at places that you want to go to eat or, you know, things that you want to do, different activities you might want to do, things like that. You will research for weeks on end about what all there might be to do and what can we do that's going to give us the most for our time there. And what can we do? Like, who can we go visit in the area? Maybe you got some friends in the area and you want to try to square up with them and try to create a plan that allows you to meet up with them while you're in the area. So you wind up with this itinerary of places to go, people to see, things to do, etc. Okay. So you wind up with this list of all this different stuff to do. Well, you know what? You need to do the same thing in your business. You need to have the same thing for your business of, first off, people to call. Okay. So what people do you have in your pipeline that you can be contacting? Again, it doesn't always mean by phone. It might be through text. It might be through email, through Facebook Messenger, whatever, whatever their um, desired means of communication is, okay? Now, there are some people who will tell you the phone is the only way. I can tell you that even for myself, y'all, if you call my phone and I don't recognize the number, I'm not answering it. I'm just not because I feel like if it's important, you'll leave me a message. So if you call me and you don't leave me a message, I'm probably not calling you back because if it's a number I don't recognize, I'm not answering it. Do you know how many telemarketers call me every day? And I'm just like, no, I'm just not going to answer my phone. And eventually you'll get the hint. Okay. So, <laughs> so if they don't leave me a message, then it wasn't important. If they wanted to leave me a message, and David, this, I will say this drives David nuts because he's going, honey, you have a business. You have to answer the phone. And I'm going, no, I don't. Because if they want me to call them back, they will leave me a message. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> okay. So for me, I hate the phone. I don't like it. I just, I just don't like being on it. And it's probably because... When I'm on the phone, then I tend to be on the phone for too long. And then I'm not getting done the other things that I need to get done. So it's one of those where I am a person who would much rather, I will text, I will private message, I will do things like that. Because listen, I can do that, just pop it on here and there, take care of it, and then go and keep doing whatever it is that I was doing. And I can pop back and take care of it when I'm able, instead of me just having to be there on the phone. So. Um, that's just me personally. So it might not mean people that you are calling, but people you are contacting, okay? And you also want to look at places to go, all right? And you might be going, well, look, if I don't have any shows, where am I going? Where, where am I going to go? Well, that might be a good time to stop by some of your local area churches to find out if maybe they need a, you know, a mission trip fundraiser done. Maybe they need a fundraiser done to help build a new addition, who knows, okay? It might mean finding different salons that you might be able to stop into to find out, introduce yourself and find out if they would be interested in allowing you the opportunity to be able to put some of your display up and allow their customers to shop while they're there. Um, Jenny says, the phone annoys me, especially if the person is breaking up or I can't hear them. I know, drives me insane. Drives me insane. Um, and I feel like anymore because so few people use landlines, that is like 
the the fact of people like breaking up constantly or not being able to hear them seems to be much higher than what it was when everybody used landlines you could always hear okay so another reason why I still have a landline even though so many people are going oh I can't see spending the money on a landline and <laughs> yes that's why okay um, so your places to go might be going to those local area salons going to getting out and meeting people Okay, you are not going to meet new people in the four walls of your home. You have to go meet people. You have to go introduce yourself as the local area jeweler or local area accessory stylist or whatever. Maybe it's to pop into some um, like real estate places or banks or things like that and offer your services as a fashion consultant that can come in and do a lunch hour fashion um, you know, fashion segment to be able to explain to people the importance of having that polished, pulled together look. Okay, you would be amazed at how much people would pay for an image consultant when you tell them, Look, I will come in there free of charge. Okay, I will come in free of charge and do an image consultation for your people. Listen, they might be right on board with that, okay? But you will never know unless you go ask. Yes, Jenny, isn't that crazy? We have to talk to people in this business. What? <laughs> okay, so yes, we have to be willing to do that. So as far as people to call and places to go, okay, I just gave you examples of that. So things to do, that's where you're going to sit there and go, what is it that I need to do in my business to make all this stuff happen? Like, what is it that I need to do in my business to get to the place that I need to be? All right. So instead of taking weeks and months and years to plan for a one weekend, one week, or even a one day event, why not start setting aside time to plan for your business. You know, one of the things that I remember hearing from some um, higher ups, from some of those leaders, those executive directors and uh, things like that, and those diamond designers, is I remember hearing that they would have a once a week meeting, husband and wife, have a once a week meeting to kind of sit down and really think about what they wanted to see you know, happen in their business over the course of the next couple weeks, things that they could do that week. Now, listen, if you don't have a husband who is on board or helping you with this or is your business partner, that's okay. Take time and have a meeting for yourself. Sit down and plan. What am I going to do this week? What am I going to do this week to further myself in my business? Who can I call? Where can I go? What can I do? Okay, and I think the more that we spend time to do that, the more that we are going to have an opportunity to be able to get somewhere in our business. And I believe somebody had even posted earlier the whole like planning to fail or, or failing to plan is planning to fail. Okay, that is a quote that I have heard. I can't even tell you how many times and it is so stinking true. Like, if you didn't take time to plan for your vacations, would they actually like happen the way that you wanted them to? I mean, like if you didn't take time to plan, are you even really going to be able to get to where you need to be? If you didn't plan for it, chances are you might not even know where you're going. All right. And it's the exact same thing mm -hmm. with our business. If you are not taking time to plan you have no idea where you're going and therefore you're going to have no idea when you get there. So take the time to dream about your business. Take time to dream about where you want your business to take you and what you want to be able to achieve in your business. And then once you have that in your mind, now take time to plan and then go work your plan. Okay. Love that. Uh, Jenny says, had a job interview a couple weeks ago and the ladies love my jewelry. One has been looking for a jeweler. She just moved here. I want to go back in and say, even if you don't hire me, I still want to be your jeweler, but I also want to take them some kind of treat. What should you take? 
listen, even if your, your treat to them is, I don't know if you happen to have any of like the tennis bracelets or things like that. Those little like, I mean, seriously, we're talking minimal cost there. If you happen to have any of those tennis bracelets, to be able to take a tennis bracelet in that just says, you know, I, I just wanted to thank you for your time and, and this and that, have this on me kind of thing. Um, listen, those tennis bracelets, they are so inexpensive. We should be doling those things out like candy. I mean, <laughs> like seriously, who is not going to be thrilled to be able to walk away with something like that, right? So, I, I mean, part of me goes, mm, maybe we should have some of those tennis bracelets on hand, have them attached some way, somehow, maybe in a little organza bag, something like that, that is attached to a style guide in place of a business card. Would y'all throw that away? Like, right? Like a tennis bracelet and a little organza bag with a coupon for their future purchase. And here's a style where you can view some of our items. I mean, something like that, I would think, would kind of stick with them. You know, because they're going to be able to have that then. They're going to be able to wear that tennis bracelet. And every time they do, they're going to think about that awesome jewelry lady who came back in to visit them. Right? So, just some different things. You just want to... Give yourself the opportunity to plan and research and look into things. Create, you know, think about those details. Think about those things that you want, all right? And that's the kind of thing that if you are doing that type stuff, you're going to get much further in your business. You just will because you're going to be working your business. Your business is not only whether or not you have home shows on your calendar. Your business is getting your name out there, familiarizing yourself with your community, you know, talking to people, meeting new people, having additional people in that pipeline so that when so-and-so isn't calling you back, it doesn't matter because you still have these other 10 people to reach out to, okay? It's also a matter of having your own personal events every single month to be able to invite people to. So when you do meet people, you can say, I tell you what, if you'd like to come by and check out our line, I happen to offer a free showing of my jewelry line every Tuesday from 7 to 8.30 p.m. I'd love for you to stop by, okay? Now, some of you might be going, that's all well and fine, but I don't want to give my information out to people that I don't know. Okay, well, guess what? See if you can connect with them on Facebook and invite them to your next Facebook Live event, all right? There's lots of different things that you can do. We have to stop making excuses as far as it's not, this isn't easy and it's kind of like really outside of my comfort zone, so I don't want to do this. So could you tell me instead what I can do? Y'all, I cannot tell you the number of times that I have people who would contact me and say, "Can I, I need to know how to do that. I need to know how to, um, how to get my name out there. And I'm like, okay, great. I, you know, in the past, I gave you like, you know, three to five ideas. Did you try any of those? Well, no. No, I didn't. I, I don't think that those would work for me. So I need something else. And it's like, listen, if you're not going to try the ideas that I give you, I don't understand why you keep coming to me for ideas. Because I can keep telling you, but unless you're willing to step out of that boat, okay, and go try it, it's all for nothing. There's no reason for me to keep telling you what you can do if you're never going to do it. So it's not just a matter of knowing what you should do. It's not just a matter of hearing what you should do. It's a matter of you going and putting things into action. And that is when it's going to happen. That's when things are going to start to change. That's when you're going to start to find, does this work for me? Oh, maybe, in fact, it does work for me. Maybe all this time I could have been doing this and it didn't, you know, and it would have worked. Okay. And instead we had it in our mind. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. If you never try it, you never give yourself an opportunity to see if it would work. Just saying, right? So that's what I'm going to leave you with today is I want you to start giving yourself, listen, create an appointment for yourself every week to evaluate your business, to evaluate what it is that you did for this past week or what it is that you can do for this next week and that kind of thing. And really look at things, really look at things. Are you actually working your business or are you just being busy doing nonsense? 
okay? Are you actually working your business or are you too busy making excuses? Are you actually working your business or are you looking for reasons to quit, okay? So those are the kind of things that I want you to really think about this week. I want you to put some things into action. Do something you've never done, and guess what? You might get something you've never had, right? All right, so I'm going to leave you guys with that. Tomorrow is my Tips and Tricks Tuesday, and I am going to share with you tomorrow how I took some advice from a wonderful lady named Anita, and I did a sample sale in a way that I've never done it before, and it worked very well, very well. And it was so much easier than even when I did the auction um, it worked very well. We uh, started it on Friday, ended it on Sunday, and I'll just tell you that it was pretty close to about a $500 profit. So tomorrow I will be sharing exactly what I did there, how I did that, um, how I went about it, and I'll just fill y'all in tomorrow. So make sure that you come back tomorrow at 9.30 Eastern Time to be able to hear about those tips and tricks Tuesday. And I look forward to seeing you guys then. Thanks so much for popping in and joining us. I so appreciate it. You guys could have spent your morning anywhere and you chose to spend it right here with me. So thank you so very much again to our replay viewers. Thank you for checking us out. And don't forget that if you'd like to be a part of that live interaction and you are in fact a Premier Designs jeweler, be sure that you come on over to the Buffy's Toolbox group and request to join and then you can be a part of that live interaction. Don't forget also, go ahead and keep commenting. I will come back and check out those comments and everything else. So if there's anything else that you'd like to add, I would love to see those comments. You guys have an amazing day. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Be blessed.